Welcome to our Minecraft Bedrock Edition Marketplace add-on review. Today in this video, we are checking out the Secure Bunkers add-on. This is created by 57 Digital. This add-on will cost you 660 Minecraft coins, which translates to £3.29. It's roughly $4. This add-on sits with a 4.0 star rating out of 5, with 350 people leaving their feedback and 63% giving it a 5 star. These add-ons can be applied to your pre-existing survival worlds or brand new ones. We are checking this out in a world that I have reviewed over 20 plus add-ons and all of them are working seamlessly together. Just enable the behaviors pack, double check your resource pack, make sure it's inside of here and then you are good to go. So this add-on comes with a secure bunkers guide but also the bunker control tablet. It starts off by saying, Welcome to the Secure Bunkers add-on. Secure Bunkers is an add-on that you can use to enhance your world's security needs. It includes a bunker builder, granule player permission system, and many security features, such as CCTV cameras, laser doors, and hidden entrances. To get started, use your bunker control tablet item. Turn over to read more. The bunker control tablet allows you to start building your very own bunker. Once you have built a bunker, you can use the bunker control tablet to expand your bunker control access to your doors and add slash access cameras. Have fun. So I did check out a bunch of YouTube videos regarding this and it looks like when you do start building bunkers, it actually overlaps some of the terrain. Now, I am curious, and the reason why we're standing on this is because I want to see if this build actually overlaps my maze that I built many, many years ago. So it's all to do with this. You can add a bunker, manage cameras, manage players, and manage defenses. So obviously, we, we want to add a bunker, right? You can do huts, caves, trees, boulders, bunker, bed, and chest. I'm going to do these in order. So let's start with this entrance instructions enter the huts and interact with the bed to enter the bunker are you sure you want to build a bunker and that's what i'm saying so for anyone who is checking this out i do not recommend building this stuff in your pre-existing builds this is something that you kind of want to build somewhere else especially if you've took the time to build something well, much better than my maze. On the surface, the build is actually pretty cool. And I think Minecraft Bedrock Edition has definitely needed something like this. I think it should come with a warning inside of the book and say it does overlap pre-existing builds if you build it there. Because again, if somebody didn't back up their worlds and they built this and you took hours building something, you'd be a little bit annoyed, wouldn't you? So it's all to do with the beds. There it is. We have ourselves a secret door and it makes like a chest sound the build itself is actually not that bad you could definitely use this just as a standard build so let's see what is down here yo this is actually pretty cool elevator doors can be opened by interacting with them without a bunker control tablet once inside you can sneak slash jump to navigate i think between floors Hold on, let's read that. Navigate between floors. You can also assign a floor name and welcome message to an elevator by using the bunker control tablet. So if we... How do we tap this? It's got to be with the tablet? Hold on. Um, How do we... How do I open the door? Hello? Is, maybe it's got to be this one. Aha, there you go. That's kind of really weird though. So you can't do it from the sides. It has to be done from... The front that's that's kind of strange apparently we are able to alter the floor names so you could do this as edit floor and do this as a uh, main floor for example and then do like hello welcome to the secret base so you could do that and then i think if you go out of here can we get out of here there you go main floor let's go up here Let's go back down. There we go. We go inside of here. Sneak to enter the bunker. So sneaking will take you down. Okay, so this is our first base. 
interesting. To be fair, it does look pretty cool. And what I do want to do at this point is go to forward slash game mode spectator and have a little bit of a look how this has actually overlapped inside of my world. So fortunately enough for me, I haven't actually built anything down here. Unfortunately enough for this world though, if you do have pre-existing, um, uh, let's say, add-ons installed, you might end up with a bunch of zombies, mutant creepers, regular creepers, and mobs like that. So it really does tear out the terrain. So who are you? Hello, the real Echo. What would you like to do? I need help. I need security. I just want to say hi so we can say hi. I need help. It says, sure thing, Echo. I have dropped a super helpful book for you. Aha, okay. So that will just give you another one of these and then we also have i need a security tablet okay so if you do lose any of your items you can just go to this little happy robots and it will give you a replacement it looks like each side is relatively the exact same so if we go over to this you can expand here interact with the blueprint wall with your tablets and then you're able to expand which I think is really cool. I do like the expansion of this. It's quite cool, to be honest. So if we go inside of here, this is just going to be, I don't know, like a standard desk area, I guess. If you've ever seen like the secret bunkers videos, that's what basically this is interpreting. Just your own custom one that you don't actually have to build yourself. This is the ability... Oh, it's scanning me to turn them on and off. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so let's say we don't turn them off. Hold on. Turn them on. Okay, well, I actually didn't take any damage there. Aha, okay. Try and go through them. No, you, you actually can't get through them. Okay. So you do have to tap this in, in order to get through, just like this. I'm guessing are meant to protect you? Okay, so you've got permissions. You can remove the security camera, and it'll just drop on the floor, or you can edit permissions. So you can do, like, uh, attack... Okay, that's pretty cool. Do not attack anyone red, orange, yellow. Okay, so you can give, I'm guessing, specific people uh, tags. Attack players, attack mobs. Aha. Okay, so if we do this again. There we go. It will just eventually kill this. What happens if I hit it, though? It's not actually attacking me. I did set this to attack players, but I think... In terms of it attacking players, it's not going to attack you, just other players. So let's see how far we can actually extend this because you can pick a room. You've got living spaces. There's actually a lot of living spaces. Oh my days. Yo, we've got living space, utility, security, miscellaneous. Let's say we had this as living space and we changed this to an arcade. It is very, very loud. Everyone currently has access to this. Dude, this thing is huge. This is very, very OP. I'm guessing that's meant to be like, uh, you know, the basketball hoops. I've seen them before. This one's meant to be like a pool table. So you can only extend like one area. I can't extend, extend, extend. Let's go through here. I'm going to do a couple of living quarters down here. So we'll extend this to... Oh, it's extending. Oh, oh, that just extends that. Okay, let's go to this one then. Let's extend this one to living quarters, bedroom blue, classic, dark, light. We'll go modern. Let's try a modern design here. Let's go to the bedroom. It's actually pretty cool. I kind of like how well it does work. Let's do bedroom dark, build. While oh, we're waiting for that one to load, we'll do living space and we'll go with a cinema. Build now. Let's check all of these out. So this is a dark bedroom. This is pretty cool. It doesn't actually give you any items, though. I was generally curious if it was going to give you, like, swords and stuff. That is definitely a really big bed. And welcome to the cinema. We have a home cinema underneath my base. That's friggin' cool. In terms of expansion, I think you can just generally keep expanding. Because we've gone incredibly far since we got to that turret. Let's go to this one. I don't think there's any more living spaces that I want to show you guys. Dining, gym, library, lounge, swimming pool area. Let's try like a utilities room. Oh, wait, animal farm? Maybe this could be incredibly overpowered then. 
It actually comes with animals. Oh, it does actually come with items. Although there is no eggs in there at this moment in time. But there will be because there's chickens there. So you actually don't necessarily need to build your own farm. Because this is going to do it for you. That's, that is quite overpowered. Surely this is not going to give you items. Also, you can deny specific access, by the way. So you can do like red, orange, green, blue, and purple. So if you do red, uh, auto door submit. I wonder if you could have like passcodes on this. That'd be pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. It does automatically open. But yes, this is incredibly overpowered. Because it gives you every single possible item, including netherite. So in a brand new world, you could be fully geared straight away. Including armors, full netherite. Not enchanted, of course, but still. And then, of course, a whole bunch of totems. Prop farm can also be created. This one might also be very overpowered as well. These... Ah, okay, so you do have to plant the crops yourself. Okay, so we have like plant potatoes, harvest potatoes, plant wheat, carrots, beetroots. We also have torch flowers and we have berries. This is going to be the enchantment room. Dude, the rooms look really clean. I don't think you should start with any kind of item, especially in a new world. This one's not as overpowered as the armory. In terms of what this would look like... I had a pre-existing base here and it's starting to kind of overlap with my pre-existing base. And that's obviously the biggest concern I have. Like it's already somewhat overtaken my, uh, um, let's call this my aquarium. That's gone completely over there. That's kind of also gone as well. So yes. Don't recommend building this anywhere near your previous creations. So my overall aim when I check out these add-ons is to try and break them or to see how much we can break. Let's generate a brand new bunker. We're going to pick a new entrance and we're just going to do a cave. <laughs> this literally creates an underwater cave, which, uh, sorry, in water cave. It does seem really, really strange on this behalf especially right there like it will just completely rip apart terrain in terms of everything else though i think this is going to work the exact same so i think this one's underneath a chest oh that's actually really cool i like the entrance for that one that's actually really really cool okay it's like a false chest uh but it looks like the bunkers themselves they all seem to be somewhat the same the designs are all the same. It's just down to you on how you alter these. So we can expand this. Let's add a couple more rooms, for example. So we'll make our way through here. It's going to let us in. And then you can change what you add. So we've done living space, utility stuff. What haven't we checked out? We have a hoverboard storage room, portal room, potion room, stable, target practice, trading room and training room let's see the trading one so does this actually produce villages down here here we go oh there you go that's opened it does it does and each villager literally is blocked with what i'm calling barrier blocks okay that's quite clean and you have one of every single villager available this guy offered me silk touch so this is my hoverboard storage room you can edit permissions on every single one of these i'm just gonna keep this as everyone has permission we're just gonna do submit doors should stay open there is a whole bunch of custom hoverboards i like this color so we can then get on these um <laughs> what i will say though I don't know if this is because I have a whole bunch of other add-ons <laughs> installed. But I'm pretty sure that's not how you're meant to ride these. Also, my hand is gone. My I've lost my hand. It's kind of broken. But it's just meant to be another way for you to traverse through these bunkers. At this point, I'm just trying to show you guys all of the options in terms of, like, utility rooms. 
this is clearly going to be for making yourself a nether portal and then the other one over here actually gives you the option to make yourself an end portal in your very own base so technically you could speed run using the armory get yourself inside of here and just go and fight the dragon straight away and to top that there's the portal room we have a potions room so the potions room would be even more helpful apart from this one's been a little bit more tamed because this one oh wait unless they're inside of here oh it does come with potions in fact not only does it come with potions it already comes with dragon's breath so what happens if we try and add a pre-existing bunker where we already are it does say you do already have a bunker so it does come with a warning but let's say we picked a tree. Yes, they they can and they will and they do overlap each other. It's no like, no, you can't do that. You, you are the option. You have the option. So I've just generated another bunker on top of a bunker. Ah, yes. And we just have a dragon chilling down here. Which to be honest, I kind of like that. Hold on, let's open these doors, please. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> That's the benefit of having a whole bunch of these add-ons installed. They all work together. This is the training room, which comes with a netherite sword, which is kind of nice because I already turned mine into the poisonous one. Do these do anything? They do not do anything. But judging from this, who are we, who are we meant to fight? You? Uh, heal me? Okay, so he can heal you. Set spawn point here. We can summon zombies, skeletons, and creepers. So we can summon zombies. Um, okay. Oh, there's a countdown to it. All right. Hello. Here we go. All right. Well, I'll just use my potato one, for example, here. I think spawning creepers might be dangerous, right? So if we were to summon some creepers, you do end up on a cooldown, at least. At least you can test your PvP skills. Here we go. So if they... Do they blow up down here? Can... Confirm creepers will blow up in your own base. So we have security options. We have a panic room. I'm going to build this one. And I'm also going to build whatever else is available. So security prison. Aha. This would be pretty good for some roleplay stuff. I I'll be fair. That, that could be good. This is meant to be a panic room. In, in case some kind of nuclear explosion happens. And then the... Oh, wait, wait. What's that? Is that a bedroom? It's a bathroom. Okay. Nice. So let's go through here, open the doors into the prison where you are able to lock up some of your friends, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think the whole role play behind this would be pretty cool, especially if you were trying to create like an SMP, but it not being on a realm or a server, you could just do this in your own world. If we got a forward slash game mode spectator at this point, I'm just curious as to how bad or what it looks like underneath this. At least it hasn't all generated above ground. It's just generated. I mean, kind of has to be fair, actually. It's just like completely tore apart my gravel ocean. This is a security room, which I believe is meant to feature some mobs for you. Yes. Aha. We have a security dog. And then we also have dog treats. Do you have to tame you, though? I think you have to be tamed like maybe a regular dog. Is that what happens? Oh, just one of them is enough to, to tame him. Okay. So he's now part of our team. The builds are quite impressive though. I, I think the builds look really, really cool. I've obviously not explored these in depth. And this is something that's really, really, really cool here. That, you know, um, Jigarbov's computers, they are also compatible with most, if not all, of the marketplace add-ons. So this is actually generated with this. So you could check um, your apps, weather, radar, etc. So that's actually really, really nice. So we got a radar, for example, and we check, let's say, mobs within like 50. It's going to show you all of the mobs and their health. I'm also curious if this was to show the mutant versions. I don't see any mutants on there right now. So I guess that's pretty good. One way to avoid all the mutants. But I like that. I love that some of the other add-ons are completely compatible. And then we have a vault. I'm kind of worried to see how the vault is going to turn out. Because something tells me this might give you all of the possible ores that you can collect. Okay, it doesn't. 
it looks like they were a little bit tame in this area <laughs> besides giving us all of the best tools and items in the game yeah okay so i was just worried it was going to be diamond blocks upon diamond blocks finally we have miscellaneous featuring beach room blank room dark room end room forest room and nether i'm gonna go with nether room and i'm also gonna go with the end related rooms as well let's tap on this let's go to miscellaneous let's go to end room let's build this one the start in this one here aha this is cool this is very, very cool. These are the kind of builds that I've always wanted to have in my world. It does not feature any of the mobs, though. So you don't gotta have to worry about wither skeletons or blazes. Ah, yes. More dragons. They just turn up everywhere. Maybe because I selected like this. I don't know. Oh, this is, this is pretty cool as well. For design purposes. But this one doesn't give you any items. A couple more things we haven't messed around with is the camera related things. So if we got to view camera, teleport to camera. Oh, okay. Oh, you do actually become the camera itself. So this must put you straight into spectator mode. There could be a way for you to spy on your friends. Got to manage cameras. I got a bunch of cameras here. I guess the more you generate, right? Um, it says placing camera sneak to exit. Okay, so let's say we wanted to I actually don't know where we built now We built all the way down there We have a snail there. Let's say I wanted to build I'm trying to figure out the best place Let's say we want to build one here place camera and then how do I know which camera this would be? Would this be camera nine? Let's get a view camera uh, Oh, it is. Oh Oh, they're using the camera command, not quite spectator. Oh, that's pretty cool, dude. This is actually really, really cool. I like that. <laughs> Obviously, crouching will get you out of it. They did really good with this. Some of the mechanics in this I haven't seen in any of the other add-ons, which I quite like. So there's a whole bunch of cameras. I don't need to add any more. We do have managed players. Um, I wonder what I can do, though. Red security clearance. Oh, okay. So you can deny people entry to certain locations. So I could deny myself locations for these ones. Uh, I can open doors and use cameras with the following security. Red. And that's when the manage uh, details comes in. Especially for something like the turrets, where you can have it to target, let's say, a blue color rather than the red. Obviously, the more players you have in here. It's very multiplayer friendly, this one, rather than solo. We have managed defenses, add security turrets. And this is somewhat similar to the whole cameras thing. And then we have managed defenses, add a dog, close. Wait, what did that say about the dogs? What does it say? Add a guard dog. To obtain a guard dog, you must first build a security room. Okay, so you have to build security first. However, if we go in here and do unla uh, undo last... Oh, does that take me to my previous location? Is this the nether and the end room? Oh, it is. I don't want to ruin my end because I do have a really good farm in there. I'm not too worried with the nether. So let's see what this one creates. It generated a portal on my ice path. If we tap on this, go to add bunker, pick a new entrance. We've done hot, we've done cave, we've done tree. Let's just do a standard bed because surely... Oh, okay. I was going to say, surely this wouldn't destroy everything. Boy, was I wrong. At least it still did it out of the nether-related blocks, though, which is still pretty decent. Let's uh, open this. No? No? Oh, okay. It seems that we're at a, at a crossroad here. And my base is probably going to be destroyed. What happens if I was to just dig down, though? You get access this way. Yeah, you can just get access this way. <laughs> Who needs to go down that way when you could just do it this way? I'm far too curious. I've come above the nether. What happens if you try and add a bunker up here? So if we were to do it, let's say... Uh, we'll go with a chest-related one. It does generate, but it looks like it's generated down below. Because you cannot build above bedrock on bedrock edition. Ironically enough. Uh, but there would be physically no way for me to get into this one. Because I would have to break the bedrock. Out of curiosity, I want to know what happens if you were to generate a bunker while you're in the air. 
So which one have we not done? Let's just do... I guess we'll redo a chest one. Yes, it does generate it in the air. <laughs> uh, I mean, this could be really cool for a, a space base. Like an airspace base. I think that one could be a really cool idea. But uh, I, I like the whole chest idea behind this. I can see why a lot of people probably gave this a lower rating. But like I mentioned, I enjoyed this. I think for SMPs, for role-playing related things, this was super, super impressive. And I think with a lot of customizations, players will figure out how to mess around with this a lot better than I certainly could. Uh, in creative, I can just break this. Oh, oh, it really doesn't want to let you go through, though. Why did that sound like a Roblox sound then, by the way? Yeah, it is. Is that, is that a Roblox? That's definitely a Roblox. Death sound. Dude, that's wild. How on earth they got this in here is kind of crazy. Can I get through? I'm not even going to attempt to do this. <laughs> Uh, probably best just to open the lasers themselves. No. There we go. We're in. Whew. Well, there's a lot of customizations. I think mess around with this probably first in a survival... Uh, sorry, in a creative separate world. Rather than messing around with this in your favorite survival worlds like I did. Fortunate enough for me, I do and did manage to have a backup with this. I have many backups of this world, but this add-on was pretty fun, and, and I can say I do recommend it. I wouldn't say it's bad at all. Have a wonderful day, and let us know in the comment section which add-on we are checking out next.